There's no special deliverance ministry. Believe me. There are no master demon chasers. Believe me. Every Christian can cast out devils. And when you are given a ministry, no matter what kind of ministry it is, there's so many different kinds of ministries according to the scriptures, but that one that is specially assigned to demons is not one of them. <laughs> it's not. God doesn't give recognition to the devil. He always lets us know that Satan is not our problem. And a lot of those people who are so-called demon-possessed and demon-harassed and demon-obsessed and oppressed are not really having problems with demons. They got problems with their minds. It's not the devil. Come on, let me show it to you. Ready to see it? Galatians. Hurry to Galatians. Now, if you find yourself in this place, as I begin to read, if you fi find a problem here with yourself, you'll see how to deal with it now. You don't, you don't need somebody to cast the devil out of you. The devil don't live in you. Are there people who are oppressed of the devil? Emphatically, yes. Otherwise, why would Jesus say cast out devils? What I'm trying to tell you, there are all these green demons they see and the, the red one and somebody talked about motorcycle spirit. That's your, that's your about it Sunday. You know? Motorcycle. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. is terrible and when they tell these stories these tales they tell you'll be amazed they always have manifestations to buttress their points i cast devils all the time you can come and see on friday you're going to hear me say come out come out you'll hear all of that so i know that i'm addressing demons and they come out and people get healed but you see I don't allow whatever manifestation that I see color my thinking and take me away from the Word of God. Come on here, Galatians chapter number 5, verse 19. Have you seen it? Read the first line. stop did he say the works of the devil no. now the bible talks about the works of god talks about the works of the devil talks about the works of the flesh and then talks about the works of the recreated human spirit you understand so we recognize from the word of god that these are all real so when he uses those uh terms he lets us know the differences between all of these classes Again, I said the works of God, the works of the devil, the works of the flesh, and the works of the recreated human spirits. Four classes of works the Bible talks about. All right. Now, verse 19, he emphatically says here, the works of the flesh. He didn't say the works of the devil. Now, you, you remember in first epistle of St. John, third chapter, the eighth verse, he says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil paralyze the works of the devil so there are works of the devil and as we study the scriptures we can isolate from there what the works of the devil are all right let's look at this the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness he says these are works of the flesh if you have problems with this it's not a devil that's in you it's your flesh, your senses, the way you reason, your emotions. Now, he didn't stop there. Idolatry. He says it's not, it's not the devil that's making you do this. Think about it. Idolatry. 
He says it's a work of the flesh. You know what he's saying? It's not the devil that makes you serve other gods. It's you. It's your flesh. The next one. Witchcraft. Man, oh man. <laughs> not the devil. You. It's you. Wow. Hatred. Hatred. I hate my papa in law. Oh, I hate my, my mother in law. I hate my next door neighbor. You you hate somebody? It's your flesh. Don't say, Well, I don't know what to do. Um, uh, if you can cast the devil out of me, then I'll stop hating them. No. In all of this, what you just do, change your way of thinking. Lay down the flesh, take up the spirit. That's all. Amen. It's the work of the flesh. See, this is Bible now. He didn't say, if you have these problems, go for demon, go to demon chasers. <laughs> he didn't say that. But a lot of times we think we, well, you know, you just come to the conclusion in your life because you've been struggling with something. You just come to the conclusion you need somebody to cast the devil out of you. And then these demon chasers then come out like, all right. <laughs> As though it's a chest issue. <laughs> all right, let's pray. <laughs> hey! hey! Look at it. Let's go on. Hatred, variance. You and others cannot agree. You're always on the other side. What everybody is up on, you are down on. Emulations, wrath, strife. I think it's good for me to read this to you from Living Bible. Who's got Living Bible? Because sometimes when you're reading King James, you pretend not to know what he's saying. <laughs> Let me read to you, thank you. Read to you from Living Bible. All right. Verse 20. Idolatry, spiritism, that is encouraging the activity of demons. He says the devil is not the cause of that. You encouraging the activity of demons in your life. He says it's your flesh that's making you do it. In other words, the day you say no, then devils have no option but to go. I love God. He makes nonsense of the devil. Look at this. He says, hatred and fighting jealousy and anger some of you have some extraordinary anger some of you manifest extraordinary supernatural anger <laughs> when you begin boiling with rage anything can fly no no, no. You, 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 you 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 know i have hot temper i have i have it's your flesh. You don't need deliverance. Stop it. You were not born with anger. You got a hold of it. Uh, I was told that my grandfather was a very angry man. Yes. You are born again. All things are passed away. All things have become new. You're not supposed to be following your grandpa. <laughs> Everybody tells you you're like your grandfather and you're happy. You should be ashamed. Say, I took a lot from my grandma. <laughs> Where is that which you got from Jesus? I thought you said you were a new creation. I took a lot from my grandma. You are so carnal. So carnal. Lay that down. 
take up the character of the Son of God. Oh, oh dear, 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 dear. I love you know, the words of a great man of God. He said how that he struggled, struggled to become a Christian, struggled to achieve. And, but he was afraid to yield himself totally to God. He was afraid because he didn't know what would happen to him if he yielded himself fully to God. So he, he, he loved God, wanted to serve God, but he wanted to also be himself because he didn't know what he would be like if he let himself go free for Jesus. Then one day he said, I found out. He loved me more than I loved myself. And that made me cry. I had to think about it. He loved me more than I loved myself. You mean that man found out about that? Then he said, he was more ambitious for me than I was for myself. In other words, Jesus was more ambitious for my success than I was for myself. He loved me more than I loved myself. Oh! How true. How true. How true. How true. Our sufferings are unnecessary. He loves us more than we love ourselves. Very true. He's more ambitious for us, for our success, than we could be for ourselves. He wants our peace more than we could ever want it. He loves us more than we love ourselves. I think we need to learn to personalize such things. He said, I found out he loved me more than I love myself. Great to find that out, brother. To discover he loves you more than you love yourself. No matter what you want to do for yourself, 